Yeah. So how did the process go at the court? Well, the Moscow City Court looks quite crowded today as it has just uh, finally issued the final uh, guilty verdict upon uh, seven uh, members of a skinhead gang led by Arturino and uh, Pavel Skachevsky. All uh, seven uh, members were uh, found uh, guilty and were given uh, from five to twenty uh, years of a uh, prison sentence. Especially Arturino, the leader of the skinhead gang, uh, was uh, given uh, ten years of a uh, prison sentence and uh, Pavel Skachevsky was uh, given the same uh, period of a uh, prison sentence. However, uh, the jury acquitted uh, Svetlana Vakumova and Nikolai Dagaev on the grounds that the event of uh, the crime was uh, not uh, proven. Well, uh, this uh, verdict was uh, long awaited here at the Moscow City Court and uh, both uh, and no one was uh, surprised uh, by this verdict. After the court hearing, the lawyers of uh, both the sides said that they were quite satisfied with the result and as uh, for the members of the skinhead gang, they looked quite calm and even they were smiling when they saw their friends sitting in the court hall. Martina, this gang was one of the most horrifying that Moscow has ever seen. Could you explain us why? Indeed, uh, this uh, case, uh, the case of this King Hat Gang led by Arturino, is supposed to be one of the most uh, shocking cases ever since, ever seen in uh, Russia before. Uh, the group uh, led by these uh, two young men were found guilty of uh, 20 attempted uh, murders, uh, 20 racist murders, and 12 attempted murders. Uh, the age of uh, the accused uh, members ranged from 15 to 22 at uh, the time of the crimes. They committed racially uh, motivated murders in the period between October 2006 and August 2007. The investigation said that they were targeting uh, people with non-Slavic appearance, especially ones uh, from uh, Central Asia as well as uh, from the Caucasus. They were violently beating them and sometimes even murdering, especially they were filming uh, their attacks on uh, the mobile phones and later posted them on uh, the internet. This uh, shocking case attracted attention not only from the media but also from Russian society.